Sensier SM1R headset styles, adjustment, fit, connection, operation, maintenance, and hygiene. First, we'll demonstrate how to adjust and fit your headset. Adjustment and fitting of your headband style headset. Adjust the headband by pulling the center band out equally on both sides. Put the headset on with the headband over the top of your head. Ensure no hair is inside the earmuff cushions. Fit the earmuffs over the ears, ensuring a tight fit around the ears. Ensure the muff completely surrounds the ears. Press down on the headband to obtain a snug and comfortable fit. Noise reduction will be adversely affected by anything that breaks the seal of the earmuff cushions. Adjustment and fitting of your behind the neck headset. Put the headset on over your head with a metal wire band placed behind your neck. Adjust the Velcro straps so that the earmuff cups completely enclose the ears. The earmuff cushions should seal firmly against the head. For best results, remove all hair from under the ear cushion. Noise reduction will be adversely affected by anything that breaks the seal of the earmuff cushions. Adjustment and fitting of your helmet mounted headset. Place the helmet on the head and push the muffs inward towards your ears until they snap into place. Then adjust by sliding the earmuffs up and down. Earmuffs should seal firmly against the head. For best results, remove hair from under the earmuffs. Noise reduction will be adversely affected by anything that breaks the seal of the earmuff cushions. Connections and radio attachment. This demonstration will show you how to connect your SM1R headset to your portable radio. Radio attachment should be made as per radio manufacturer's instructions. This video is for reference only. Note, the boom mic is a directional mic and the side with the microphone logo pictured above should be facing you, the person wearing the headset. This should be facing toward your mouth just below your lower lip. It's critical to have the boom mic very close to your mouth with the white dot or microphone symbol facing your mouth. Now locate and connect the radio interface cable to the two-way radio. Next, connect the Hiroshi connector from the headset to the bottom of the inline PTT switch and rotate. Once the pins align, it will click into place as shown. Place the radio on your belt and clip the PTT switch to your clothing or protective gear in a convenient location. The SM1R must be connected to the radio to power up because the radio provides the power source for the headset. Also, please ensure you have a fully charged radio battery. Turn the two-way radio on from the two-way radio volume on-off switch. The headset will now power on and an audible sound saying Sensier Sounds good to me will be heard through the headset, indicating it is powered on. Sounds good to me. The innovative features designed into your SM1R headset are sense mode, radio mode, and volume limiter. Sense mode. The Sensier SM1R is a state-of-the-art hearing protector which contains sophisticated electronics and algorithms to enhance speech while suppressing noise in noisy environments up to 95 dB. As a result, SM1R users do not need to remove their hearing protection during face-to-face -face communications to hear speech in noisy environments. The Sense feature provides for full 360-degree situational awareness of your surroundings without the need to remove your headset. It does this by utilizing the four microphones located on the front of the earmuffs, two microphones on each side. When the radio is powered up, the unit is set into Sense mode by default. A short press of the power button on the right side of the headset toggles between quiet mode and sense mode. Quiet mode turns off sense and only allows radio audio to pass to the headset. Use the volume controls also on the right side of the headset to raise or lower the audio level of the sense mode volume. Volume and power button layout. For more information about Sense technology, go to Sensier.com and click on the technology section at the top of the page.
radio mode. Next, we'll discuss radio mode. Phone mic placement is important for clear two-way radio communications. Press and hold the inline PTT button firmly to transmit audio and speak clearly into the headset phone mic. You should hear a transmit go-ahead tone in your ear, indicating it is okay to speak. Speaking prior to hearing the go-ahead tone will result in an incomplete transmission. Release the PTT button to end the transmission and go into receive mode. To change the volume of the two-way radio communications, use the two-way radio volume control on the radio. To power down the headset, turn off the radio via the radio's on-off switch or disconnect the cable from the bottom of the inline PTT switch Hiroshi connector. To remove the Hiroshi connector, pull on the collar to release and continue pulling to remove the cable. If you remove the Hiroshi connector at the bottom of the inline PTT switch, all radio audio will revert back to the radio. Volume Limiter Your SM1R headset has an integrated volume limiter. This is a safety feature which limits the level of audio volume in the headset to a preset level of 82 dB, ensuring safe audio volumes at all times, no matter the level of background noise or radio loudness. Maintenance and Hygiene It is extremely important to maintain the headset for proper operation and noise protection. Sensier provides replacement hygiene kits to ensure proper protection and comfort, which consists of replacement ear foam cushions and foam bone mic socks. The hygiene kit includes new ear cushions and outer mesh ear covers, which should be replaced every six months. A replacement bone mic sock is also available. To remove the ear cushions, grasp firmly inside the ear cup under the cushion. Pull outward and the entire cushion will pop out. There are three pieces of foam material under the plastic retainer and we'll be replacing the outer black mesh piece, but be careful not to lose the two inner foam pieces as they help maintain proper noise protection. Remove the cushion from the plastic retainer ring tabs by pulling firmly on the cushion. Install the new cushion under the tabs by snapping them into place as shown. Also, replace the outer foam pad, making sure to install it properly with the mesh facing outwards and snap the cushion assembly back into the headset. The cushions can be cleaned as required with alcohol wipes. The boom mic can also be serviced by replacing the old boom mic sock. Simply pull off the old one and slip on the new sock. Sincere. Sounds good to me.